Hi everybody and welcome to Principles of Security. So in this room there are no practical stuff for us to do but there are some questions we need to answer so that we can make sure that we've understood what TriHackMe has uh, taught us in this room about different security models. So let's answer some questions. So to begin with, uh, with uh, in task one we have no questions so we can just click on complete and move on to task two, the CIA triad. Okay, let's see. What element of the CIA triad ensures that data cannot be altered by unauthorized people? And the answer is integrity. So let's type in integrity and submit. Awesome. And now, what element of the CIA triad ensures that data is available? And the answer here is availability. So let's type that in. And we submit. Perfect. And now, what element of the CIA triad ensures that data is only accessed by authorized people? And the answer is confidentiality. Okay, so confidentiality. Perfect. Okay, and now let's move on to task uh, three, principles of privileges. Uh, okay, so let's see. What does the acronym uh, PIM stand for? And that will be Privileged Identity Management. Okay, so let's type that in. Let's see, privileged uh, there you go. Uh, identity management. Perfect. What does the acronym PAM stand for? And that will be privileged access management. So let's type that in. Okay, let's see. Yes, we got that right too. Perfect. And now, if you wanted to manage the privileges a system uh, access role had, what methodology would you use? And that will be uh, the PAM methodology, right? So, um, or privileged access management methodology, right? So, so we can just type in uh, PAM here and we submit. And if you wanted to create, um, if you wanted to create a system role that is based on a user role slash responsibilities with an organization, what methodology is this? And that will be privileged, um, uh, privileged identity management, uh, or um, or PIM, right? So we just type in PIM like this, and we submit, and we got that right too. Perfect. Uh, and yeah, now to the um, next uh, task, security models continued, uh, which will talk about or which talks about the um, Dell, uh, the Bell uh, Lapadula model and the uh, Bebo model, right? So let's answer some questions and see if, um, yeah, if we've understood uh, this part of the lesson. So what is the name of the model that uses the rule uh, can't read up? can read down and that will be the Bell uh, Lopadula model. Okay, so we type in the name here. Uh, let's see. Oop, I think I got that wrong. So we need to remove the E from uh, from Bell, right? Uh, let's see if um, I got that right. Yes, I did. Perfect. And now, what is the name of the model that uses the rule uh, can't read up, can't read down? And that will be the uh, Bebo model, right? So let's see if we got that right too. Model, let's see. And we submit. Perfect. Okay. And now, if uh, you were a military, what security model would you use? And I would use the uh, 
the Bell Lapadula model. Okay, so we typed it in. Let's see. Perfect. Okay, and now finally, uh, if you were a software developer, uh, what security model uh, would the company perhaps use? Uh, and that will be the Bebo model, right? So let's type that in and see if we got that right too. Model and we submit. Perfect. All right, and now on to the final task, threat modeling and incident response. Okay, let's see what kind of questions we have here. So, uh, what models uh, outline? What model outlines spoofing? And, and that will be the Stride model, right? Uh, so, we type in Stride and we submit. Perfect. And now, what does the acronym IR stand for? And we already got the name from the title of this uh, task. Uh, and that will be incident uh, response. So let's type that in. Submit. Perfect. And now, uh, what? Uh, no, that's the wrong question. Let's see here. You, <laughs> you are tasked with adding some measures to an application uh, to uh, to an application to improve the integrity of data. What strike principle is this? And that will be uh, the second one, which is tampering. Okay, so tampering. Let's see, tampering like this, and we submit. Perfect. And now an attacker has uh, penetrated your organization's security and stolen data. It is your task to return the organization to um, to business as usual. What incident response stage is this? And that will be uh, the fifth one, right? Uh, which is recovery. And we can actually see it right here, right? Uh, but yeah, you guys probably already know that. Uh, so let's type that in. Uh, and we submit and we are done with this room. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I also hope that you were able to answer all of these questions um, the way I did, uh, which is a great indication of you understanding the material provided here by Try Hack Me. And if you didn't, you know, just maybe go through the room a couple of more times so that you know the material uh, really sticks and then try again right uh, so so yeah so again thank you guys for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on try hack me cybersecurity, and ethical hacking thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you next time